Hey, what is up guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys my experience so far with iOS 14 developer beta 5. This is my weekly follow up where I share with you guys additional details in terms of performance, the battery, and of course in these videos I also like to talk about the YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input and provide some information on how the software has been working for you. Now in this video, I also like to talk about the next beta. When will Apple release the next beta and what could you expect with the next iOS 14 developer and public beta 6? So let's dive right in. Now the first thing I want to talk about is my personal experience so far with the software. In terms of bugs, uh, some of the latest bugs such as the keyboard bug where the keyboard would disappear if you attempt to share something, the keyboard would disappear. That is no longer an issue on the latest beta so that has been fixed. I haven't encountered that whatsoever. In terms of application crashing within the software, I haven't experienced that either. Although I have experienced some applications freezing so I have to quit them out and sort of launch them again. Uh, but other than that, nothing major, not like it was before with beta 3 and beta 4. Now, one of the major bugs within the software so far is within Instagram and Instagram stories. So if you go to post something to an Instagram story here, so if I click here and try to share something to Instagram stories, you get this blank page here, which is uh, extremely annoying. I can't really post anything to Instagram stories because this is my primary device and uh, that is not working properly. Now, I do not know if that's directly pertaining to iOS 14 only or does Instagram have to do anything in order to fix this issue alongside iOS as well so we'll have to wait and see for the next beta to see what happens with that now in terms of battery performance I do have to say there's a good improvement from beta 3 and beta 4 to beta 5 beta 5 is better on the battery department however it is not as good as iOS 13.6 or 13.6.1 and of course that is to be expected. This is beta software, so that is to be expected. Uh, but hopefully Apple will continue improving within the battery department because it has improved uh, slightly from uh, the previous beta. So that's a good sign. Hopefully we'll see this uh, continue to be a trend within the next beta 6, beta 7, and so forth. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the YouTube community poll. As I mentioned, this is where you guys also have an input and provide uh, some information on how the software is working for you. This sort of gives everyone a bigger picture and understanding how everything is working overall. So, of course, the question this week was, how is iOS 14 developer and public beta 5 working for you? And uh, a 22% of you guys uh, are having an awesome experience so far. 29% uh, of you guys uh, it's okay, but some bugs, and that's where I lie as well, 29%. There's some minor bugs here and there, nothing major like before, as I mentioned. But yeah, there's still some bugs. And it looks like a 4% of you guys, which is down from previous betas, are having a bad experience, a lot of bugs within the software. So 4% of you guys on that. And a 45% of you guys are simply just not running iOS 14 beta, and that's a good thing. So that's from 7,000 votes approximately. So now let's take a look at some of the comments that you guys have left on this YouTube community poll. So as you see here, one of the most popular comments, the keyboard bug has been fixed, as I just mentioned, but some of you guys are experiencing keyboard freezing. I haven't experienced that myself, but it looks like some of you guys are experiencing that. The next comment here, one of the most popular with 20 votes, is the annoying uh, of the Instagram story bug where I just showed you where the screen just goes completely blank. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are experiencing this one, so hopefully that gets ironed out and fixed here. In the next couple of days so here for iphone 10r users the iphone 10r users are experiencing better battery performance overall as i am myself as well on iphone 11 uh, and it looks like the software is performing really good for those 10r users unfortunately it looks like iphone 11 pro users are not experiencing the same thing in terms of battery performance so a lot of you guys are asking should i update to the latest beta 5 if i'm running beta 3 or beta 4 and that is definitely a yes so you can definitely update you'll get a better performance overall on your device now let's talk about expected release dates for beta 6 and what could apple be doing in the next couple of betas to improve upon the software now will there be any major changes hopefully, but maybe Apple will just start ironing up the software. I don't see any major new features added so far in the next couple of betas, but I could be wrong. Hopefully, Apple surprises us with major new features in the next beta. There's some rumors of new UI changes within the software. We saw Apple recently added the new Hidden Albums feature toggle here to the Photos extension. If you want to see more details about that, links in the description down below. But yeah, Apple is definitely now going to be focusing on uh, polishing up the software, making everything stable. So far, I have to say, 
just using the software on beta 5 feels extremely more stable than it is it was in beta 4 in previous betas as well and hopefully that continues to be a trend and as i mentioned don't expect major changes hopefully i'm wrong uh, but from here on out we'll have to see what apple will do but i'm hoping battery improvements targeting bugs is what i'm hoping for apple to do now if you follow me here on youtube you know that apple is releasing new betas for developers and public beta testers on a two weeks release cycle so every two weeks we see a new beta released for ios 14 we're currently sitting in beta 5 of course beta 6 is next but at some point apple switches to releasing new betas weekly so on a one week release cycle when will that happen i'm thinking it's going to be happening this week coming up apple released a beta 5 last week and i'm thinking the week of the 24th a week later apple will release beta 6 and i'm hoping that is the case uh, that apple switches now to a one week release cycle we're approximately a month and maybe a month and a half or so from uh, the official release of ios 14 so apple is really going to push forward and try to iron out as many bugs as possible so at some point as i mentioned that we'll be switching and hopefully i'm thinking it will be the week of the 24th coming up if you're watching on the 23rd here sunday as of the filming of this video in the next couple of days here so uh, again everything uh, seems to be going in the right direction bugs are being ironed out major instagram issues here but hopefully this gets addressed battery is improving overall and overall hopefully apple i will continue on this trend and thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace